Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to be reviewing set 75046 Coruscant Police Gunship. With 481 pieces, it originally retailed for $50, however, the price has skyrocketed since, and the cheapest one I could find on Bricklink costed over $350. Before this review, I took apart the set and rebuilt it to try to recreate the building experience. And even without the numbered bags, it was still super fun to build. Unfortunately, the box of this set was damaged, so I'm no so I don't have it anymore, but I'll put some pictures of it up on screen now. Looking at the instructions, they're pretty standard with a bluish gray background and the normal straightforward diagrams that you see in LEGO instructions. With average building steps and some advertisements for other sets released that year in the back, it's pretty standard. The set comes with four minifigures, and the first one is Ahsoka. I really like this Ahsoka figure because in my opinion it's the most accurate Clone Wars Ahsoka minifigure with an awesome mold for her Leku, two green lightsabers, two faces, the front one being a smile and the back one being a more frustrated one, and printing on the front and back of her torso, legs, and even on her hips. The next minifig is Anakin Skywalker, and while there's nothing really wrong with him, he doesn't really offer anything special. He's got a blue lightsaber, he has printing on his legs and front of and back of his torso, but there's nothing really else of note for Anakin. However, neither of those were the main attraction in terms of minifigure for most people. The main attraction was the two beautiful shock troopers with a red and white color scheme and are in the Clone Wars art style which are different than the modern clones. They stand out next to the other clone troopers that have less paint on the armor or use less vibrant colors. As of recording this video, they're the only shock troopers that have come out uh, so far and if I'm being honest, they look like they might even be better than the ones that we'll be getting in September. They come with normal clone trooper blasters and have some awesome printing on helmets, legs, and front and back of torsos. The set looks good externally with a navy blue and light gray color scheme which is accurate to the in-universe ship design and the two colors look pretty good together. The gunship is much smaller than any other Republic gunship that we've gotten in the past even smaller than the one we got in 2002. This ship has 481 pieces as opposed to the one from 2002 with 665 pieces. However, this isn't a really fair comparison because it's a different model to the other Republic gunships that we've gotten. It's got quite a small interior, just being a small place for a few minifigures to sit inside and the cockpit where you can place the two shock troopers. In terms of play features, it has flaps at the back can open, one of which has a detachable drone that you can swoosh around and use as another ally for the Republic. The second has a rack for the shock troopers guns. The front windshield opens smoothly using Technic pieces and has seats for the shock troopers to sit in. However, this was a part of a wave of sets that were truly amazing because they were the first sets to ever have spring-loaded shooters. Which are even better than stud shooters and flick fire missiles because they're more accurate, have more power than alternatives, and don't get lost as easily after you shoot them. I think that this was a great set for its time, and even now, nine years later, it holds up quite well along with the shock troopers that would explain its absurd price tag on the resale market. It's got very little wrong with the build and totally perfect minifigures and overall I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10. This is the first review I've done in a really long time and I'm curious if you guys want to see more videos like this and if so what sets would you want to see? I would love to hear all of your thoughts about that stuff and more in the comments below. 
and if you did enjoy make sure to like the video and subscribe and you can catch my video about the leaked republic gunship on the end screen and i'll see you next time bye